Okay, listen to this song. <laughs> yes, that's right. Today we're playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade. The, basically the game that got me started uh, at the arcade experience. In the arcade experience. <laughs> so, uh, tell you all about it during the gameplay. So I'm going to start. Uh, well, it's a tough choice here. We have a. Uh, uh, this I really wouldn't choose Leonardo. Uh, Donatello has the larger weapon. Uh, Raphael was the one my one go-to guy for a long time uh, because of his special move. But I'm gonna go with Michelangelo this time. It was my favorite turtle. Uh, my first favorite turtle. <laughs> Uh, when the show first started out, uh, so I'm gonna go with him with the nunchucks. Uh, fire, we gotta get April out. So, well, basically, the, we have a, a two button here. We got the action button, which attacks, and the jump button. And we have a series of, of different moves. When you press them both together, if you're lucky, you get this fatal attack. This, this, it's the attack that uh, deals most damage to the to the enemies. So foot uh, foot soldiers basically they just die with one hit of this attack. So sometimes it turns into this little uh, like flying kick, which is one thing that really messes you up often when you try to do the the more powerful attack. So. Most of the enemies here are foot, foot soldiers, which but it's okay. That that was the that was what it was like in the show as well. So a little background here uh, on my Ninja Turtle experience. Uh, well, uh, Ninja Turtles was very huge. Uh, was a very very huge deal at you. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody's aware of that. Uh, so here we have the basic save April. Help me. Uh, which was what happened in the show. If you if you this this attack I'm doing right now is, is also a fatal attack, but you have to press the button at the right point of the of the jump. The right point of the jump. Oh shit. Uh, I was trying to go uh, through Rocksteady without dying once. So here comes Rocksteady. So you pray as Toidos. Toidos. So uh, this is the first boss, Rocksteady. There's a, a little trick you can do here with him. Uh, he goes to the corner. The best turtle to, uh, to fight against him is uh, Raphael because of his uh, rolling attack. So basically what we'll, you, you will do in most bosses in this game is you're going to hit him and then and then move up and down. The best thing is like he's basically cornered right, right now so you just hit him. Uh, Keep him on the corners and try to hit him with your flying kicks. Actually, the most powerful attack right now is not very useful unless you time it correctly uh, after a few hits. So he's gone uh, for now. Here comes the shredder. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Come on, after that shredder creep. So this uh, this is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite, arcade games of all time. Uh, and until uh, this is basically the the game that really got me introduced in uh, to the arcades because I had played. Ar I remember playing uh, arcades before. Uh, I remember playing uh, Ghosts and Goblins and. Uh, Commando, I think, with the with the overhead view. 
at one point or another, and some racing game. And some, uh, I, I can't remember the name. Tonight I dine on Turtle Sue. Classic line from the show. Uh, oh, I didn't hit anybody. But, uh, so I remember playing those games very briefly and going into an, uh, an arcade or another. My, my, my parents were really fun. Because I was very young, an arcade was mostly for bigger kids. Uh, when I... Uh, when I was when I played the, uh, these moments of Ghosts and Goblins, like I said, uh, or whatever. But uh, when uh, when the Teenage Mutant Ninja cartoons came out, uh, it was a big deal. Uh, I was living in Brazil, and uh, it didn't come out. Uh, it came out. The cartoon came out around early 1989, perhaps maybe late 1988. But uh, mo most likely, I think it was early 1989. Uh, and it was an instant hit. I mean, first one is when it started uh, showing uh, the ads on television for the cartoon. Uh, I said, "What is this, Ninja Turtles?" Because they even they didn't even translate the whole title from English. Uh, they didn't say they didn't say the Teenage Mutant part, and they just say Ninja Turtles in Portuguese. Uh, but it, it was weird enough. <laughs> uh, uh, but. Uh, yeah, I, if, I imagine if they said the teenage, the whole Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle thing, that would be even weirder. Okay, just gonna take a pause from this uh, reminiscing to show you a little trick here. Oh shit! I thought uh, if you put your foot between uh, in one of these platforms, I'm not gonna joke around a lot because I want that pizza, even though uh, I'm I have as many. Oh, I got the pizza and I still got killed. That's bullshit! That's just bullshit! Uh, there's this trick here. Okay, I, sh I can't believe that I... It's not working. You're su I'm supposed to be invincible? Yeah, so if you're... You're basically invincible if you stand... If you put your back foot... Uh, right between... Like, like, like there in the line between the platform and the side of the platform uh, well basically the edge of the platform e no, no enemy can hurt you this is very useful for the next stage the sewers which can go up to the whole stage uh, invincible I always like to do that freak out the girl but anyway as I was saying uh, uh, this show came out uh, in Brazil around early 1989, I do believe. Uh, might have been late 88, but I'm pretty sure it was early 1989. Well, never mind. Uh, so, uh, the thing that was... Uh, the, the shows that were very popular on TV at the time were... Uh, as far as cartoon was uh, like Heatman, Thundercats... Transformers wasn't that huge. Here, uh, I think the toys were uh, actually more po popular th than the cartoon. Uh, but He-Man and Thundercats, and there was the the Tokusatsu uh, TV, Japanese TV shows that were very huge here uh, at the time. At the time that Ninja Turtles came out, the, 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 probably the most popular uh, shows for for kids were, were the Tokusatsu Japanese shows, where the Super Sentai or had uh, Changeman, Dengek Sentai Changeman was. Huge and Jaspion um, was uh, the Metal Hero part, uh, the Metal Hero Tokusatsu show. So they were really huge. And uh, uh, Ninja Turtles was, was the next thing. So uh, I was really crazy about the Ninja Turtles, like most kids my age uh, at the time, uh, not only uh, probably across the world, um, across the globe, but the kids were crazy about this these uh, Ninja Turtles. Um, here there's also a trick that you can do. Uh, mouse, slide wall. That you can do. Basically you can keep him frozen here. And if you have another turtle, let's say Donatello, which has the longer weapon, you can hit him and as many times as you want. Uh, maybe I'll show it after the end of this game. Of this gameplay. 
so yes uh, but anyway uh, let me just uh, be done with him and I'll continue my uh, reminiscing of my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles story and my history with this game so basically you, you do uh, this one uh, wh when I first played this guy uh, as a kid a bebop I thought him really much harder than Rocksteady but he's really not he's quite easier you just hit him and uh, he goes down uh, quite easy So it's funny how before you used to uh, go through the. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pause here for a second because I need uh, I need a bathroom break. Yes, yeah, so I'm not pay playing at, a, at an arcade machine. Of course, I'm playing uh, uh, at an emulator in an emulator uh, Mame. So that allows me to. Uh... I think I'm gonna start with a different turtle because the well, the one thing about this game that's flawed is that you don't get to start with a different turtle after game over. You always you have to go uh, all the way through the game with the same turtle. Uh, but uh, I'll probably switch it because I have some uh, save files uh, from this game. So I might start with uh, Donatello at this level. Uh, so I'll take a quick, quick break. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Uh, so uh, I'm back. I'll come back playing as Donatello because I had a save file with him. Uh, so let's keep, uh, keep on playing. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. <clears throat> So let's see if I'm invincible. I'm pretty sure I am. <laughs> so this is a, 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 a ch you can consider that a cheat, but of course, you're playing the arcade. You, uh, you have a chance of not wasting your money, <laughs> spending less money to go through the game. Of course, you're gonna take any chance you get. I mean, so this is a pretty nifty trick. Uh, I think most of the, the people who have played this game knows about this trick, but if you don't, there you go. <laughs> Invincibility, whenever there's a platform, you just put your, your toes right at the edge, right crossing over the edge a little bit, and no enemy can hurt you. So anyway, I was mentioning how huge Ninja Turtles were. Uh, I don't have to em em emphasize that a lot, because I'm pretty sure every, every kid around the world was big in Ninja Turtles. Uh, back in the day, but uh, uh, the thing is, the cartoon, uh, because it was so popular, uh, led me to this arcade experience. I, w I didn't used to go to the arcades when this game first came out, so I heard from uh, a cousin of mine, I said, oh, there's this new uh, arcade Ninja Turtles arcade game, which is awesome, and he started telling me about it, I had said, no way. Everything he would tell me about it, I'd say, oh, no way, that's not possible. Because, it, it well, arcades had it, it had evolved since uh, Ghosts and Goblins and everything. And so, oh, Raphael does this rolling kick and everything, and, and, and you can play four players. and So, yeah, so I, 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 I asked my parents to take me to arcade to, to see this new game, and then <laughs> the arcade games became my heaven <laughs> for the next few years. Uh... My, the idea of a perfect weekend uh, for me was going to the arcade uh, at the mall and play. Uh, there was a time the arcades were so popular that it was this mall uh, uh, in town or the town I, I live. I'm gonna go to the, for the pizza, but I'm trying to. I always, I'm always afraid to go for the pizza because I, I might not get into position quick enough for the invincibility trick. But anyway, I think I, I got it. So. Uh, yeah. So I couldn't go along because uh, alone because I, I was too young. So I would always pass through my parents to take me to the arcade, and I would play Ninja Turtles uh, and uh, I think the other games that uh, when, I, when I played Ninja Turtles uh, was the, like Golden Axe. Yes, yeah, Golden Axe, Shinobi at times, Toki, the one about monkey, about the monkey. <laughs> I would play at times Shadow Dancer. There were a few games uh, that are at the same time. Not th there wasn't The Simpsons yet. Oh, I remember that there were Pit Fighter. 
uh, that was Pit Fighter, uh, maybe not, not at the very same time, but maybe shortly after. I I'm not quite sure, but I, rem I remember Pit Fighter about the same time. Which also blew my mind. I wasn't any good at it, and it's not considered a very good game nowadays. So I'm going through Baxter, uh, Baxter Stockman pretty easy now because I'm basically invincible. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so uh, the Ninja Turtles was basically my introduction to arcade games, as I've said, uh, and it was amazing because here I'm playing by myself, which is which is sort of uh, not very, it's not ideal because one uh, the fun parts of the game was playing uh, uh, with groups or at least two or three players, uh, and it was funny because uh, I wasn't a very social uh, sociable kid. I was I was kind of a shy, and it, it was funny to just. Get together with four, uh, with three other, uh, with three strangers, and play this game. Uh, it was really, uh, in <laughs> it was really a, a different experience. So these kids would uh, you've never seen before. I uh, would come up to you and ask you, uh, and tell you to do this, and I would tell them to do that. So developing a strategy to beat the the enemies and everything. So it was quite a new experience for me at the time. Uh, some people say they prefer uh, uh, Turtles in Time. Shit, I lost the. Well, I I disagree. Uh, uh, I actually didn't play. I didn't get. I've never played uh, Turtles in Time at uh, at the arcade. Uh, I don't think it came out in the arcades uh, in the town where I live. So, uh, but even now, uh, so okay, there is a nostalgia factor, of course. But even if I had played them, I think I still prefer this one because. Uh, I don't know, it seems more uh, natural to the show, at least the, the episodes of the show that I like. Uh, true that uh, Turtles in Time has more variety of moves specifically, but this one is really nifty uh, too. Uh, it's different from, for example, uh, X-Men Arcade, because X-Men didn't have a special move. It actually did, but uh, it cost you uh, energy. So you basically didn't want to do it because it, it would cost you health. Uh, this one, no. You, you, you want to do it, you do it, you develop a strategy. Uh, for me, it's a really fun beat-em-up game. I think it's, a, it's probably my favorite one uh, in arcades, uh, my favorite beat-em-up. Uh, perhaps uh, uh, Cadillac and Dinosaurs are just uh, right up there with, with Ninja Turtles. Uh, I think uh, uh, I always enjoyed when they did that. So here we get to fight uh, both Rocksteady and Bebop. We basically try to do the same strategy. Uh, maybe try to uh, try to get rid of one faster than the other. So we focus more, like let's say Bebop, and then try to take down Rocksteady. But uh, shit. I don't want to lose an extra life. Not that it matters, but it's just a matter of pride. Like you know, you you don't want to keep dying. <laughs> I pretend that I'm I'm putting really coins in there, <laughs> so I don't want to waste my money. So Bebop is almost done for. Uh. So yeah, I th I prefer this over Turtles in Time. Not only because I grew up with this game, but I think the... I mean, Turtles in Time, at least for the arcade, I've played it, I've beaten it. Uh, uh, not as a kid, but playing as an adult on the emulator. Uh, it has more variety moves, but uh, I don't find it as fun, especially because the enemies are not uh, the classic. You don't have, uh, like, B-Pop and Rocksteady, uh, so... Well, you do in the Super Nintendo version, but I'm talking about the arcade version. So you got uh, enemies that came later in the show, so you don't relate as much to it. For example, Slash came on the show when I was almost just uh, getting out of this phase, of this Ninja Turtle phase. Uh, I was almost coming out of the... Uh, I was in... I mean, I watched Ninja Turtles almost all through the 90s. I, I don't remember the later seasons. Uh, I don't remember the Red Sky Seasons, as they call it. I don't think I've ever watched any episode. I, I've ever watched an episode of that of that period, 
but uh, yeah, uh, it was. Uh, so all of these, a lot of these enemies, uh, I, I, I'm not, I couldn't, I wasn't so into it as, as like the ones here, because it came out. Uh, the show came out early uh, 1989 here, but uh, I mean, but uh, the arcade. Yes, I'm in Brazil right now. Yes. So yeah, I'm, it's uh, it's here really. <laughs> uh, so um, it, and the, this game, I think it came out in late 1989. So it was right at the moment when we were really at the peak of uh, of, of the popularity. It was really getting into the show. So that is a uh, thing. So I think I, I had just gotten my uh, no, I, I hadn't even gotten my master system. I don't know. Maybe it was early 1990. I, I'm not sure. I think uh, I might have. It was right about the time when I got my master system as well. But I mean, no home console at the time could re really replace the arcade experience. No, it, it is the, the, because of the better graphics. Because it was uh, just, it's like the movies. Like you went out, you saw all those kids playing, and you would play along them and on these beat 'em ups. And these games are really cool because it, it, it sort of makes. Uh, gets you friends because when you play uh, something like Street Fighter 2 uh, Mortal Kombat or whatever oh shit uh, you're playing against a person so they really are not that fond of you at the <laughs> when you're playing them uh, because you're their adversary you're their enemy at the time so but this really you're, you're it's a team effort so yeah I always I used to hate those robots uh, when I was a kid because uh, of these race, there was a pizza right there, and I I took damage and I lost. These are my uh, the, the guys that I hate the most. The guys with the spears. I hate these guys. So anyway, I was just uh, talking about. Um, my experience with this game. It was uh, my introduction to arcades, and I think it's a real. I still think the game holds up very well today. Uh, it's a fair challenge. Uh, it's not a necessarily a, 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 a coin grabber. Uh, it has a variety of moves if you know how to do them. It's not just m button mashing. That's why I I, I have a certain. Uh, that's why I like uh, games like Cadillac and Idosaurs because you get to run uh, and uh, can do different moves while you're running. Okay, so it adds variety. So this is a uh, skateboarding stage. Um, basically, if you, this is the best spot I do, I think to to, to stay. Because uh, you're not conf you're not invincible, but it, you're you almost are. It's uh, it's much harder for the enemies to hit you right here. Uh, uh, so so the the helicopters. If you don't hit them, the, eventually they go away. The, the ones with the bombs that are really annoying. Th these are the ones that will kill you. Oh shit. See? So you're not immune to the bombs while at the place there. So you better get rid of them fast. Before the helicopters come. I think I'm gonna, I might lose this. Shock. Let's put some more quarters into the machine. <laughs> if only that works true. Probably if I, if I could buy an arcade machine, I'd probably want to buy this one. Like a real uh, cabinet, original one. 
probably this this was probably the arcade that I would want to have in my game room. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game. Bust this joint. Uh, so this is the last stage before the Technodrome. Gotta save Splitter. So this is a callback to one of one of the episodes, uh, one of the first episodes where Splinter gets kidnapped. So most of these uh, of the, the stages in this game are based on the on the first on the original uh, of the original season. The it was like a five episode, I think. Uh, funny enough, when the the show first premiered here, uh, it's it, it didn't show those episodes. So I'm invincible again. Oh, come on! I was invincible. Why did you have to move? Oh shit! This, the controller is too sensitive. Oh, I, I'm not being. Oh, I was right at the sweet spot. Okay. I'm good. I hate it when I try to do- Oh, come on! I don't want to fall down! Shit, I don't know what- Okay. I'll be very careful now. I don't want to move. Especially with this, uh, these guys with the spears. And the ones with the, with the guns. Because they're the most annoying ones in the game. I forgot what I was saying because I was so upset because I was keep I was I kept falling off the shelf. Oh man, just wasted a damn good explosion. Come on, Donatello. Oh no, that overgrown corkscrew again. So these guys can be pretty annoying. So like, uh, okay, I was saying actually uh, that we didn't have the original uh, episodes, what we call season one uh, of the show. When it premiered uh, in Brazil, it, it started with the what we call season two now, which uh, be begins with Return of the Shredder. So the first episode I watched, and I'm pretty sure I watched the first episode when it first came on, uh, was the Return of the Shredder. Uh, and yeah, it was a little strange in a way because who is this Shredder person? Why is he returning? <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> so, but anyway. Uh, those were the first episodes, and most of the enemies here are based on the on the first season. Oh, come on! I was in right going for a pizza now. Um. Yeah, find time for a pizza after I get hit. Okay, guys, this is a, a perfect pa uh, moment for a pause here. Uh, uh, I, I'm gonna get a, a, a drink or something, so uh, I might switch to another turtle because I've been playing with Donatello for uh, quite a while. But yeah, uh, all right, this is it. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, uh, so I'm back. Uh, <laughs> I decided not to complicate things too much, so I'm gonna keep going with Donatello. Uh, I'm gonna add some extra scenes at the end of this with uh, uh, with, some, with some other turtles uh, playing. But for now, let's keep going with Donatello. Here we have the the end level boss. This guy is uh, is one of the rock soldiers. He was featured also early in the in the episodes 
not sure if in the first season or uh, early the second season. But most char characters are from the, the early episodes because this game was released uh, very early in the... So I imagine it was developed, it started development on this game quite early. So this is the strategy here, you just hit him and you move out of the way. Uh, So, uh, Donatello has a long-range weapon, which is not ideal for this kind of boss, because sometimes you will miss because of it. But so far, I'm doing okay, I guess. I'm gonna get the pizza. Oh, shit! When I was going for the pizza, that's so unfair. <laughs> so... I know it doesn't matter, because <laughs> I can put as many coins as I want. Many, <laughs> I can't have as many tries as I want. But I like to pretend that I'm putting... Uh, money into this game. I'm putting quarters in. <laughs> so I'm trying not to waste money just as I was doing, just as I did back in the day. Because I actually, uh, I've beaten this game uh, in the arcade. Uh, yeah, I haven't been, uh, actually, I haven't beaten a lot of games in the arcade per se. I've, I've beaten a lot of arcade games uh, in my computer using uh, uh, emulators, but yeah, back in the day, I mean, I didn't have a, a lot of money. I wasn't rich, so for instance, uh, I've beaten this game, but uh, uh, I took over a game that another kid was playing. But actually, I had made it this far. Actually, I think it was the Technodrome. I had made it this far. Uh, I had made it uh, to the Technodrome before. But I had to stop playing because I ran out of money. <laughs> so when I took over, when the kid gave up and I uh, continued with, uh, so I took over his game, uh, the game he was he had been playing. I didn't feel too bad. I didn't think it was too uh, too much of a cheat because uh, yeah, I had gotten here before. So maybe let's say it was a safe game. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Not all games, uh, you can do that, actually. Oh, I hate these robots. Uh, I remember some games, uh, that you actually are not able to continue, uh, gameplay after... You cannot, uh, if you insert, uh, your, your money or your token after this, uh, like, usually on the last level, at the last level, you are not able to continue. Because, uh, yeah, they, so this, these games pose m more of a challenge. Oh, I turned into ice. Uh, I remember games like, uh, Shinobi, I believe it was like that, uh, is like that. You cannot continue after, uh, so in the, in these games you have to make sure you start the level, the last level, with as many lives. Uh, so usually you die if you're like in your last life you, you die right before you go into the level because you have to go into the level with as much uh, as much uh, lives as you can as many extra guys as you can um, another game that is like that is uh, eSWAT sort of a Robocop ripoff I also uh, played so uh, you cannot just it doesn't matter how much uh, beat the game unless you really beat the last level legit so you cannot lose your uh, you cannot have a game over screen at the last level otherwise you cannot continue but this one is uh, you can just as long as you have your quarters to put in there you're good to go uh, so yeah, that, yeah, I've beaten this game at the arcade. It was actually a big deal for me. It was quite an exciting moment, I should say. I, sh I remember because uh, uh, this is General Trag, I believe, not something like that. Oh, I wasn't. I... So the strategy here is uh, basically the same as the the previous one. He has different speeds, so you have to be careful. Again, Donatello is not the ideal turtle for these kind of uh, close combat, but uh, yeah, I think I'm doing okay. Oh shit! 
So it was a, quite an excite, exciting moment when I beat this game uh, as a kid. And also because Ninja Turtles was a big deal. I mean, like I said, uh, there was He-Man, there was Thundercats, uh, a few other uh, dinosaurs or whatever that, that were big and sort of big. Uh, and of course there were the tokusatsu shows, uh, the Japanese tokusatsu shows that were the Super Sentai, uh, like dang it, Sentai Changeman and Flashman. Um, and there was Jaspion, so these were the the huge things. And having beaten uh, the, the Ninja Turtles, one of the first games I've beaten, uh, along with perhaps Golden Axe. So it was a really exciting moment for my life as a kid. <laughs> and uh, here comes Krang. Uh, oh. Talking about Krang, I was really excited to see Krang uh, at the new Ninja Turtles movie. Uh, actually, when I when I found out that uh, Krang was going to be in the movie, I was really hyped. Uh, it didn't li live up to the expectations, I should say, but it's, it was still fun to see him uh, in the movies. About these movies, I didn't really hate those movies uh, like a lot of people did. But they could have been so much better. Uh, the first one I thought I was going to uh, hate, so... Perhaps I was I didn't I didn't go into the movies like oh I'm gonna hate this game. I'm uh, sorry this movie. I had an open mind, but I was not I, my expectations were, were uh, my expectations were really low. But it was okay. I had a fun time, fun enough time. Uh, the CGI wasn't very good. The Ninja Turtles, like everybody said, looked ugly as hell. But I still had I had some I had some fun. Uh, uh, the second one, I was more excited because there was going to be, uh, we knew from the trailers, we knew from the trailers that there was going to be Rocksteady and, and Bebop in them, and there was going to be Baxter Stockman and, and Krang, the Technodrome, it was going to be so, but, uh, yeah, it wasn't as fun as I hoped it, it would have been. But it still was a lot of fun, uh, at least seeing these guys. The CGI looked terrible in my opinion, uh, Bebop and Rocksteady. And the plot was really stupid, uh, part of the plot I should say, especially the part about, uh, the thing about the, the animal, the, the evolution thing, hold on. I'm invincible. So here comes Shredder, well we'll get to the movies, hold on, let me talk. So here's the deal with the Shredder. We have one real Shredder and a fake Shredder. If there were more Turtles, uh, more players, more Turtles, there would be more Shredder, Shredders, more fake Shredders, of course. So the strategy here is try to uh, choose a Shredder and you keep hitting him. So if his face mask comes out, uh, comes off uh, very early. It's the fake shredder. So if it's taken, but th the thing is, you, you, you have to keep track of them because sometimes you might mix them up. So every time you get hit, so that's where you, you must try not to get hit. Uh, because when you get hit, you, you run the risk of having uh, they move around all over the place, and you run the risk of having them mixed up. So the thing you do here, you try to. So I'm, I think I might be hitting. Oh, come on. I think I'm keeping track of the of the one that I've been hitting so far. So this you gotta avoid this ray at all costs. It will turn you into an ordinary turtle. It's similar to the oh shit! I hate it when uh, I think it was, this was this one. So I think I've been hitting the right one, the correct one, because his face mask is still has not come out, come off. So talking about the Shredder, which I'm facing right now, uh, one thing I hated in the in the second uh, Ninja Turtles Michael Bay movie, well, I say Michael Bay because he produced the movie, of course, we all know he wasn't the director, but everybody calls him the Michael Bay uh, Ninja Turtles anyway. Shit. Uh, so, what's the Shredder? 
Why did they change the shredder? And, and he, the guy is... It doesn't look at all that intimidating. The guy, the guy is short. At least the first one, uh, it's definitely not the same guy from the first movie. You can tell that right up front. Uh, he's kind of short. He's not intimidating. He doesn't look like the... I don't know. I just don't buy him a shredder at all. And he's kind of gullible the way he makes an alliance with Frank. Just this alien being is just mad and just it's kind of, seems kind of forced. Oh, shit. So yeah. Uh, overall, I like the movies. Okay, they weren't that terrible. Uh, it could have they could have been worse. I probably like the second one a little better. Uh, so I, I think I've been hit in the correct shredder. But I'm the thing I, I'm afraid of is just when I'm get hit, I might lose track of the one that I've been uh, hitting. Oh, okay, so shell shot. Uh, so I'm going to continue, of course. <laughs> Shit. Oh, not again. I had been able to avoid the the ray that what, what was that? Uh, what is that? Like a devolving ray <laughs> or something. Oh, by the way, I'm playing on a D-pad controller. Okay, so his face mask came off. I hope it's the real one. The strategy here is, if you're not sure, you're supposed to hit the other one to have both of them have the face face mask come off. So when if the other one respawns, because if you if you hit the fake one, he's going to uh, respawn. Fuck. But after the face mask uh, comes off, it doesn't take a long time to defeat him. So I'm hoping this is the real one. Yes, it was the real one. So there you go, Shredder. You're done for. <laughs> so guys, this is it. This was uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. One of the first arcade games that I've ever played. Uh, one of my favorite arcade games, even to this day. Uh, it doesn't have as many, uh, as much variety uh, as far as moves as the uh, uh, as Turtles in Time. But I find this more fun because you can also you have a lot of options of how to attack an enemy. You have several different moves. It's not just button mashing. You can, you can, you have a strategy um, behind it. So, yes, it's a wonderful game. I think it still holds up really well to this day. Uh, after these uh, end credits, I'm gonna show uh, some other footage of. Uh, uh, there's a trick with uh, with the with uh, Bebop. Uh, the second stage where you face Bebop, where you, you basically become invincible if you do that that trick. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a, a few moves of by Raphael against uh, Rocksteady, which is uh, Raphael. I was playing with Michelangelo when I played uh, Rocksteady on the first stage. Uh, but um, uh, Raphael is probably the best one to have against him, doing his roller, his rolling move. So, yes. Uh, Pretty fun game, definitely recommend it if you've never played it. Uh, a lot of people have played it uh, on the NES, but there's no comparison really. Uh, I actually remember wanting to buy the NES at one point, because I didn't have, I have the Master System, was my home console, and then I had the Genesis. I was always more of a Sega boy. Nintendo wasn't very big in Brazil, as it was in the States. Uh, so. But I, I'm glad I didn't buy an NES. My my father um, wouldn't get it anyway. But um, so let's put the my initials here. Um, but if I did, just because of that game, I would ha I would have been disappointed because I really don't like that version at all. It's much too long. Uh, it really there's not as much variety in the moves. They added some extra stages because it was a home console, but. Uh, overall, uh, as it, oh come on, they didn't give me enough time to punch in my initials. 
but anyway, so this is it guys. Uh, thank you very much. I'm gonna show you this these extra footage and see you next time.